Karena dia We are going to This is a wonderful church service Praise the Lord We are going to hear this word of God Before that we can sing one more song right now This is second Sunday After the lockdown period got over uh, Shake the nations uh, UK uh, Shake the nations uh, Pentecostal churches Are doing This church service physically We are doing this church service This is the second Sunday In London Praise the Lord First of all I want to give thanks to the Lord Because of this time uh, Which our God has given to us Praise the Lord So uh, we lost our church And after that I was praying to the Lord Oh God I need the church Praise the Lord So that uh, God gave me a better place Very beautiful place Comparing that one Praise the Lord This is a previous one This is an anointed place Which our God has. We can come anytime Praise the Lord We can worship our God without any info We can give wonderful clap Praise the Lord. Our God is amazing God. I'm Pastor Jolly Nasser and uh, Jolly PL. Last week I was in Scotland. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, preached the gospel in Edinburgh and in Glasgow. Uh, our God uh, did a great 600 miles from London to uh, uh, Scotland. I was riding 600 miles. Man, I was riding. Even though I was riding nine hours, <laughs> there was no problem at all for me. I was not at all tired at all. Praise the Lord. This is a work of Lord, which our God has done. And I will be traveling again to Scotland. According to the Spirit of God, lead me. Scotland need a Jesus Christ. Scotland need a greatest revival. So, again, um, I want to, I will travel. I will be traveling to Scotland and uh, preach the gospel and spread the salvation uh, to the people of Scotland. Uh, I would go to Scotland, uh, Glasgow and uh, Edinburgh and Stirling. From Glasgow, uh, 150 miles away, nearly four hours we were driving another city and preach the gospel, uh, city name called Abidin, praise the Lord. And uh, beautiful place, like all the world place, or all the countries are beautiful country. Uh, so, uh, this place is also a beautiful place. So, lots of people saved, received that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. This very important one. We can give praise and thanks to the Lord uh, for this uh, presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, just I want to sing one song right now. Welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with our power. Live inside of me. Welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your praise and sleep. Take complete control. Welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your praise Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just I want to share, before sharing this word of God, I want to pray for this word. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, when the time of sharing this word of God, the people are in the church. The people are uh, physically attending this church service. The people are watching online. Heavenly Father, I bless them, Father. Keep them in your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I will read today. Um, Jesus Christ, uh, book of, uh, yes, I will read, book of Job, chapter 37, verses 14. Book of Job, chapter 37, verses 14. Bible says, listen to this. 
job. Stop and consider God's wonders. Praise the Lord. This is a good news today. I want to say to everybody, praise the Lord. Please close your mouth always and look at back in your previous life what which whatever God has done in your life, the wonders in your life. Praise the Lord. This is what this is a message today. The Spirit of God is leading me to share in front of everybody. Praise the Lord. This is a message. Bible says, Book of Job, chapter 37, verse 40. Listen to this. Job, stop and consider God's wonders. This is only one thing. This is what our God is a miracle Lord. If there is no miracle, there is no Lord. Praise the Lord. In miracle, if God's name that is a miracle, praise the Lord. For example, I was saying to everybody, I was riding 600 miles from uh, London to Scotland. Even though I could not even tie it, praise the Lord. Nine, I was, I was riding my car to preach the gospel. When I reached there, I was not at all tired. Again, I was uh, conducted the gospel revival uh, after reaching another 30 minutes time over there. There, I could arrange a revival meeting. How it happened? When you are doing the gospel work, our all the tiredness, all the weakness, our God will take it over. Praise the Lord. The God's power, it will come to you. Because this God's power, uh, we can walk through the victory. This is the same thing. The Job, uh, he lost everything. He had everything uh, from the Lord. But one day, he lost everything. That time, what happened? All his brothers, uh, loved one, the colleagues, friends, they came and told to Job, praise the Lord, what happened? What they told? Listen to this. That means the God himself told, told to Job. What happened? Listen to this. Job, stop and consider God's wonders. You have previously, before, now you are sickness, you are sick. You lost everything. Before you lose everything in your life, how, where, what was your position? That is what um, our God was reminding through his uh, beloved one to the job. God has given you everything. God has given you the children. God has given you uh, your family. God has given you the cattle, the flocks, of everything, the doggies, and everything. Whatever you have, our God has given you. Praise the Lord. If our God has given to you that one in your life, our Bible says, um, uh, our God is saying to the Job, I have done all these things. When you are reading the book of Job, chapter 42, we can see that one. When our God, Job didn't deny the heavenly father, the God's work. Even though he was in the difficult situation, he was in the pandemic situation. We can say, that, like the COVID-19, there is no virus, but it is one kind of sickness. It was affected uh, by the evil spirit to the job. Then what happened? By the Lord. Uh, then what happened? Job didn't deny the God. God was, Job was explaining the wonders what our God has done in my life previously. You know that one, even if he has lost everything in his life. Book of Job chapter 42, he was returned everything whatever he has lost in his life. Praise the Lord. This is a thing today I want to say to everybody. In your pandemic situation, in your difficult situation, maybe you are thinking you have lost something, you don't have job. Maybe you are the sickness today. Maybe you, do, you cannot do anything in your life. I want to say one thing to all the people who are watching, the people who are in this church. Look at how you were in the last year and a couple of years before. Praise the Lord. Your family members, they were not supporting you. Maybe you are, you are facing the problem in your life. They were not supporting you. They rejected you. The society rejected you. Praise the Lord. You got the court case, some, your, your, your enemies filed a wrong uh, proof in front of the court. Court made a wrong order to you. Nobody was supporting you. And the Bible says, I am with you. Jesus Christ is saying, I am your Lord. Praise the Lord. Nobody can, what man can do to you. Our God is your helper. Praise the Lord. If our God is for us, who can stand against you? Praise the Lord. This is what today. 
I want to give the message to all the people. The world will be standing against you. Bible says the world is thinking you are the failure person. You are getting, you are losing something. Maybe you are thinking, the world people are saying you are mentally depressed. But our God is saying you are walking from victory to victory. You are walking from glory to glory. You are walking, running from victory to victory. You are victorious life. You are going to see with a short of time. Praise the Lord. This is a word of God today. I want to say to all the people. Your face, our God will never put a shame. Praise the Lord. In the Old Testament, you know that one. Job returned all his glory. Whatever he has lost. Praise the Lord. Our God will return to him. He got now children. He got cattle. He got um, uh, donkeys. All the wealth he has returned back. How did it happen? He was explaining. He was witnessing. He was giving thanks. The word our God has done in my previous life. Praise the Lord. This is our God. Our God is an amazing God. Our God is a wonderful Lord. You know that one. I was in the point of the death. 2013. 2013. Uh, my life got broken life. Praise the Lord. I born again. 2013. And baptized. All my enemies were laughing. I will get high. But no. But I was walking from glory to glory. This was the good news of the Lord. This was the plan of the Lord. Towards Pastor Jolly. Before the foundation of the Lord. To preach, to preach the gospel in front of the nations. Praise the Lord. Even though today my enemies are calling me. Pastor Kami, please call me. Praise the Lord. So this, this is what. This is a God's work today. If, if any, of, any of your adversaries are doing something against you. Our God will never put your face shame. Praise the Lord. Our God will put your adversaries face to shame. Praise the Lord. This is our God. This is what the Bible says. Today, all the people are watching. I want to say to all the people, the wonders, the signs, the wonders, the miracle, the healing, the deliverance, what I, our God has done in your life, in your previous life. You look at the, the previous thing and give thanks. Raise your hand and give thanks. When you are giving thanks, the miracle will come to you. When you are giving thanks, the glory will come to you. Whenever you are coming, we are giving the thanks to the Lord. Your chains will get break. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says. Book of John chapter 37 verses 5 says, God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond your understanding. This is our God. Beyond our understanding. We cannot even think it over what is going to happen in our life. Praise the Lord. This is what our God. Even though in the Old Testament, when you are reading book of Exodus, all the children of Israel, they came out from the land of Egypt. They were saying, murmuring, all the children of Israel against the Lord. When we are looking at the front side, there is a right side. The right back side, there is a Pharaoh's army. They were thinking, what I should do it. Praise the Lord. But the Moses, he was pressing God. He was giving uh, thanks to the Lord. Because he could see all the children of Israel, they could come out because the mighty hands of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of Moses thought, or Moses was saying from his mouth, the same God can do the miracle even today too. Praise the Lord. Because our God is a miracle Lord. Praise the Lord. What happened? The Red Sea. Our God divided the Red Sea in all the children of Israel. Like a victorious person, they were walking and running and laughing and jumping and rejoicing over the sea. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God made a new road, highway road in the middle of the sea. Praise the Lord. This is our God. Our God's plan we cannot explain. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are praying today. We are asking to the Lord today to get something in your life. Maybe the one bedroom house, two bedroom house. But our God's plan is not getting a two bedroom. How many children do you have? Like that. Maybe for five children you have. Our God plan is a ten bedroom house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If, apart from five children, if any, any, any of the guests is coming, any of the guests are coming, how you can accommodate them? Because of this reason, our God will give you a big bangla for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, this is a word of God. First seek his kingdom. Praise the Lord. First to seek his kingdom. Later on, it will be added to you. Maybe today you are thinking, you don't have any money in the bank. You don't have a job. But our Bible says, praise the Lord. He does a great things beyond your understanding. Praise the Lord. Don't look at your bank balance. Don't look at your purse. 
Don't look at your money. Don't look at your current situation. Don't limit yourself. You have to think it over. The whole thing is our Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God's miracle is coming to you. According to his status. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is our God. <laughs> this is, the people are watching online. Don't look at your bank balance and don't say, I need one room house. No. Our God's plan is getting a 10 bedroom house. A big Bangalore for you. Praise the Lord. Because our God wants to honor you. Because in your weakness, you are preaching my gospel. Because of this reason. Our God wants to honor you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says. Book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10. King David, praise the Lord. He was traveling from one place to other place. From your enemies. Most of the time, years and years. Praise the Lord. He was in the wilderness. He was running from one place to other places. Then what happened? He could, one thing, he was uh, received from the Lord. What was that one? The God's anointing. If you are anointed from the Lord, maybe you don't have anything in your life. Maybe you have one, one pair of clothes. Praise God. You, maybe you have one pair of uh, no, that, uh, shoes or whatever. Maybe you don't have anything apart from. Doesn't matter. Don't look at anything. If you have God's anointing with you, that is more than enough. Praise the Lord. Anointing can get you everything, whatever you want in your life. Praise the Lord. This is what the Bible says. Anointing can get you everything, whatever you want, everything in your life. That is what Gospel chapter, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 says. If you are anointed men, you can declare from your tongue whatever you want to do. Whatever you are dying on the earth, it will bound on the heaven. Whatever you are losing in this earth, it will be loosed in the heaven. That means anointing can create, like anointing can do the creative miracle in your life. Praise the Lord. This is what Jesus Christ was going. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ was having the anointing. He left his glory in the heavenly places. So he came down to the earth like you and me. But he was having the divine power. Praise the Lord. Wherever Jesus Christ was going, he was anointed. Anointed man. Because of this reason, you know that one, when you are reading book of Luke, book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 26, um, then Jesus Christ sailed uh, to the region of the Gathrenes, which is across uh, the lake of the Galilee. When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon possessed man from the town. For a long time, this man had not worn clothes. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell at his feet, shouting at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? This is what even devil knows. If you are anointed man, devil knows you with your power. <laughs> your power if you are anointed man. Praise the Lord. This is what when I was preaching the gospel in the street. You know, when I was I, I, I told I went to preach the gospel in Glasgow yesterday, Scotland. When I was preaching the gospel, the couple of person, he came and with the evil spirit, he was coming and disturbed me. He will never allow me to say Jesus. Praise the Lord. He will never, I was saying Jesus. Later on he went away. Praise the Lord. Because of this, demon very knows, knows very well. If you are anointed, David knows very well. How the people are coming and disturbing you, that means that person needs the deliverance. Praise the Lord. Even though that person is uh, uh, possessed by the uh, demon spirit, our God's will is that person should get the free through you. Praise the Lord. This is a this is the reason that people are coming to you. This is the reason that person said to Jesus Christ, Oh Jesus, son of most high God, I beg you, um, don't torture me. For Jesus had uh, commanded uh, the impure spirit to come out of the man. Praise the Lord. That, that is what, finally what happened? Many times it had seized him. And finally, you know that one, Jesus Christ commanded so that the evil spirit left that man. That means Jesus Christ did all his um, ministry because of his anointing. Praise the Lord. He was the anointed man. Because of this reason, Jesus Christ did the miracle always. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are the anointed man, the devil spirit knows very well. Praise the Lord. If you are anointed, that's enough. 
that is what the um, king david said praise the lord he was rejected uh, from the society from his family um, everything he was rejected he was living in the wilderness even though the lions and bears came to him how he could defeat the kill the lion and bear because which is the anointing which was there in his heart even today i want to say to all the people if you are anointed men today praise the lord maybe uh, any kind of sickness you are suffering today mentally depressed praise the lord maybe negative thoughts evil thoughts are coming to you you cannot go forward i want to say if you are ready to open your mouth and say go out the spirit of thoughts that go out from my body the spirit of sickness if you are saying the multiple time one day it will happen from you in your life because our god's anointing is with you today Amen. so that only one people are the victorious people that is only the children of god praise the lord no any other people are the victorious people only one people are the victorious people living in this world that is the children of god praise the lord yes. that is what bible says book of psalms chapter 46 verse 10 says he says be still and know what i am god i will be exalted among the nations i will be exalted in the truth praise the lord hallelujah that is what another nature of our lord this is the will of god each and every people should walk uh, with the full of confidence in your mind. This is the will of God towards you and me. We have to walk with full of confidence in your mind. Praise the Lord. Whenever you are losing your confidence, the devil will take the advantage. Bible says, don't give any of the advantage to the devil. Praise the Lord. You should come to know the trick of the devil. The trick of the devil means you should always uh, be, uh, be tired in your life. You should not pray in front of the Lord. This is the trick of the God, devil. If you are praying to the Lord, definitely the devil knows uh, you will get the deliverance. You will get the healing. Praise the Lord. You will get the uh, victory. Whatever you are praying to the Lord, it will happen. This is a, our devil, de not our, devil knows that. Devil. This, is a, uh, this is the trick of the devil. Always, devil will give you the negative thoughts in your life. Devil will give you uh, the, the things, something, which is something devil will put in your life. What you have to do it, if you are praying every day in front of the Lord, praise and worship, the God's anointing automatically will come to you. This is what King David, he was anointed from the Lord. It was, Bible says, goodness and mercy, it was following, following to him. Praise the Lord. Until the day of his death. death. That is because Psalms 91 says, praise the Lord, our God himself, his our God will send his angels in your life to get you the protection. Praise the Lord. That is what we say. Whenever you are facing the trouble, Bible says you should not say anything from your mouth. Praise the Lord. Don't say any of the native words. Always close your mouth and remember in the miracle what our God has done in your life in your past. Praise the Lord. You know that when, when, when I was studying the MBA, Master of Business Administration, I was going, I was having all the money to give the fees. I was not having the money for the accommodation and meet my personal expenses. Praise the Lord. I was doing the direct, direct marketing in India. I was going door to door and selling the goods and finding the money. And I was getting the money like that. Praise the Lord. I was doing accordingly. But at that time I don't know about God. That time I didn't born again. Even though I was having the deep faith in God. This God will help me. Praise the Lord. This God will help me. When I came in UK, I faced a lot of troubles in my life. Praise the Lord. As I said, 2012, I was supposed to get suicide. Then, that time, uh, through one of the pastors, I came to know Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I came to love of God. Today, um, from my death, Jesus Christ saved me from my death. <coughs> I am preaching this powerful God according to my experience. Praise the Lord. Whenever the devil is putting me in the trouble in my life, I will remember the greatest miracle whatever God has done in my life. Praise the Lord. Today, I am preaching this gospel, this miracle Lord. This miracle Lord has done a greatest miracle in my life. I am preaching about this miracle Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to say to all the people, this God will never leave you nor forsake you. Only one thing, Bible says, stand till 
shut up your mouth, pray to close your mouth, and remember, take your pen and paper, what is a miracle of God is done in your life. And remember, and think it over, and say from your mouth, yesterday I could, I could pay my house rent, Yesterday, my child was not well. When I prayed, our God healed my child. Praise the Lord. I was sick of my God healed me. I, my, I, I had a broken life. Today, I'm rejoicing. Say, if my God did the same miracle today, today also, tomorrow also, our, this God can do the same miracle in my life. Say from your mouth and give the thanks to the Lord. When you are giving thanks to our Lord, the power of the Lord will come to you. Praise the Lord. This is the way. So, I want to say to all the people, the people are watching online. This is a way we have to think it out. When Apostle Paul and Silas, they were in the prison, praise the Lord. But what um, he was, uh, he did, praise the Lord, what he did, he was remembering when he was uh, struggled the Lord, when the Jewish people stoned uh, the Apostle Paul, that time God delivered him from the death. Because of this same reason, according to his experience, when he went to put in the prison, book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 24, praise the Lord. Then what happened? He was giving thanks to the Lord without giving any other complaint. Praise the Lord. He was remembering the miracle yesterday, what our God is done in my life. He and Silas, Apostle Paul and Silas, he was, they were raising their hands. Praise the Lord. They were giving thanks and praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord. What happened? They could come out from the prison immediately. The presence of the Lord. It came down to the prison. This is what. Today, if any of the people can give the thanks and praise to the Lord, our God will change the situation. Amen. Here another one. When I started the church last day, okay, sometimes I was not having money to travel for my state evangelism. I was doing, no, always I am doing the state evangelism, I'm traveling to Scotland, praise the Lord, Edinburgh, and Glasgow, now the other cities, I'm preaching the gospel because of my pocket money. Praise the Lord. Some people are supporting. If I, if I have not money, my God is giving the money. Praise the Lord. This is a way I'm preaching the gospel. So that whenever we are praying, this God will keep our hand and protect you. Praise the Lord. This is what, in the Old Testament, the New Testament. Praise the Lord. The Hannah, praise the Lord. He was a prayerful lady, woman. She got a beautiful child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because she was trusting God. Praise the Lord. Then Rachel, she was a beautiful woman, but she was barren. What happened? He was praying to the Lord to get a child because she was remembering in her mouth, in her eye, in their heart. The Sarah, she was barren. Praise the Lord. When she prayed to the Lord, our God did the covenant, did the, our God, whatever our God said to the Abraham, our God gave a child to the Abraham. The same God can give me the child. Praise the Lord. This is a Rachel thought like that. When Rachel started to pray to the Lord, Rachel was crying in front of the Lord. I'm praying to the Lord, giving thanks to the Lord. Then what happened? Rachel got a beautiful child named called Joseph. Praise the Lord. If our God is doing any other miracle in your life, our God can do extraordinary miracle in your life because our God is having the compassion on you. Praise the Lord. This is what the Bible says. Book of Psalm chapter 46, verse 7 says, Praise the Lord. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob for our fortress. Praise the Lord. All the difficult situation, we have to raise our hand. We have to say, our God Almighty with us. Praise the Lord. Our God is with us. He is my uh, fortress. He is my shield. We have to say, in the wonder, wonders of the Lord, we have to say from our mouth. When you are saying, Lord Almighty, one by one, you will get a reason to come out of your difficult situation. So we don't know how it is. Sometimes you are facing, it will take some time, one day, one week, two weeks, six months time. But you will get deliverance. If you are praying to the Lord, deliverance is 100% sure. Praise the Lord. Because you are not at all praying to the statue. You are praying to the living God. You know that one. You know what is our God. He is a miracle Lord. Miracle is our nature. Wonders is nature. Science and wonders is nature. He can give the water from the rock. He can give the child, uh, if any of the parents, any of the women are praying, he can give the child, he can open their womb, 
He can give the child. Praise the Lord. He can open the Red Sea. He can make a new way for them. Praise the Lord. He can give the water from the wine. He can make it. Praise the Lord. This is our Lord. From five loaves and two fish, He can treat 5,000 men, more than 25,000 people. This is our God. He is an amazing God. Wonders and signs. He is the nature. Praise the Lord. Then why you are worrying today about your life today? Nothing to worry anything about your life. Praise the Lord. Rejoice whenever you are getting a great trouble in your life. I want to say, according to my experience, raise your hand and rejoice in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, how Pastor Jolly is here? People are saying, oh, Jolly, Pastor Jolly, like that, church, like that, all these things, I'm doing the gospel revival. What has happened? Our God is raising me. Amen. Last video, I was preaching, nearly 500,000 people watched. That means, Nearly 500 people come to know Pastor John is a child of God. Praise the Lord. This is what. If you are the child of God, I will go, our God will rise, our God will make your name become great. This is what. Our God, Jacob's name was, you know that one, when he left from his house, he was only normal Jacob. When he came back, the land called to Bethel. Our God said, I will bring you back years and years later. When he back, he got wives, he got children. Finally, our God changed his name. He was Jacob. Our God changed his name to the Israel. Praise the Lord. Our God is amazing Lord. Today, I want to say, our God will change.